All right, we're back here. Let's go. So all of us have chocobos? All of us. <laughs> oh, nope, nope, nope. We'll just go for this one. Bad blood. We can use the ruins to cross the ravine. Assuming they will allow it, the echoes have a this? will of their own. Huh. I'll explore later. We'll explore for the hunts. Not now. I want to do main mission. Oh. Go on top. Oh, I can go on top. Oh, cool. Stop, I'm ignoring all of you. I want to do main mission. This might take a while. Tell us about Yote, Joshua. She's strong-willed, loyal, and deadly with a blade. Much like Clive, but with better manners. <laughs> Don't care. All right, let's talk to you. You deserve a rest. Comrades, ether flood up ahead. It swallowed our camp while we slept. My own men did this, turned every last one of them. There's a village not far from here, Tabor. The people were kind to us. It's only a matter of time before they won't stand the chance. We can't let those monsters reach the... I'll go. You catch your breath. Thank you. Our encampment is up ahead. Just off the track. <laughs> they must not reach Tabor. <laughs> Forgive me, Lord Kuka. Rest well, soldier. You said the encampment was close. Let's hope the Akashic are still there. Another ether flood. They're everywhere now. We can't go around it. Then we'll just have to be careful. <sighs> oh, Sam? Good. I got here in time. Dead yet, huh? 
Oh, you know what? I should just get the limb break right now. I just realized I have enough. Is someone there? Please, I, I can't move my leg. Be right there, buddy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Limb break. Master, right? There we go. We got that. Uh, do you think we get another icon soon? Else is a really like flames of rebirth. Ah, screw it. You got ignition. <laughs> Doesn't sound like an Akashic. You're with the battalion. I am. I heard the fighting. Are the others taken care of? One of your brothers in arms told me what happened and asked for help. Another survivor? Where is he? Tell me. His wounds were too deep. <sighs> he was right to send you. Those things. You slew are no longer my brothers. Tabor is safe thanks to you. Here, you've earned it. It says you're dying. You seem familiar. Have we met? Yeah, I killed your. You must have me confused with someone else. <laughs> Oh, shit. Son of a whore. You're Sid. I was there in Kostnis when you killed my brothers. I was there in Rosalith when you killed my commander. My war with Hugo Kupka is over. I bear no ill will toward those who followed him. And what of my ill will? Coward! Draw your steel. Lord Kupka shall be avenged! barely stand when your wounds have healed and your head has cooled come and find me if you must though I hazard your life would be better spent in service of those who need it or have you forgotten your oath to the Republic my oath what would you know of oaths I know how hard they are to keep which is why I'm giving you the chance to keep yours no <laughs> I won't be deceived Lord Kupka told us of your crimes. You are an outlaw, a murderer, not some, <laughs> some man like you or anyone else. I am nothing like you. But if you're not going to kill me, then go. Leave. Just know that I will find you, Sid. Someday. Yeah, I... Huh. All right. We'll see what it, what he'll do. I'm not gonna kill an injured man. Nope. Unless it's a real bad guy, but... Yeah, he was just doing his duty. We're nearly there. Have you been to Tabor before? There are a few places I haven't. Back to the stables, girl. Welcome, travelers. We don't get many visitors here in Tabor. 
Where now, Joshua? There is a residence just inside the city gates. She awaits us within. Right here. My Lord Marquess, it is an honor. I am Yote, Knight of the Undying, charged with the protection of His Grace Joshua Rosfield, Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix. Of course. It all makes sense now. Would you care to elaborate? The Undying are loyal servants to the Ducal Throne. Or more specifically, to its heir. They have served our family for generations, albeit from the shadows. Since their inception, they have been tasked with the preservation and enactment of the rites of ancestral communion. After the events at Phoenix Gate, it was the Undying who delivered me to safety. I see. And since the day I left Rosaria, Yote has been my constant companion and protector. Without her sword, I would not have survived my journey across the realm. Rise, Lady Yote. You saved my brother. I owe you a debt I can never repay. I but did my duty. Come now. Tell us what you've discovered. Your Grace. I kind of wish they show a flashback of uh, her saving him. The vessel we spied off the coast of the Crystalline Dominion on the night of her fall. It was the Einherjar. Beyond any doubt. The Black Galleon. Joshua. The Einherjar is the Royalist flagship. What business would they have in the Dominion? Uh, upon learning of Walud's involvement in recent events at Drake's Fang, I sense the malign influence of Ultima, and bid Yote and the Undying look into the matter. We have reason to believe that the Black Galleon weighed anchor shortly after the fighting began, and set a course due south. For Canva. Then it is Waluda Knights who besiege the cities. What is left of them, yes. And the Black Galleon sails at but one man's behest. Barnabas Tharm. But are we truly safe here in the Agora? The city guard have been paid, if that's what you're implying. All the more reason for them to run. Well, you are free to leave. Lord Minister. Markets abandoned, warehouses aflame, blackened house choking every port in the capital. Canva is ruined. The Rome teeters on the brink of chaos, and all you can think about is commerce. Forgive us. We were not aware Dalmechia now subsisted on charity. How dare you! Distinguished members of the Council, you must forgive His Majesty this intrusion. What did you... What is the meaning of this? A trifle crowded, but I fear it will have to serve, my liege. Very well. My colleagues, do you not see? The king, he has come to save us from the Akashic. He 
is a gift from the heavens, divine intervention, our very salvation. And of course, if it is compensation he requires, we would be most willing to negotiate a fair price for services rendered. Fools. Your ignorance unbecomes you. Your Majesty, correct me if I'm wrong, but I would swear that the fiends washing the cobbles of Canva with the blood of her citizens wear the colors of Walud. <laughs> ha! So you do not deny it. Guards, fetter them and see our guests to the dungeons! <laughs> Enough. still here, somewhere in the city. Her consciousness fair dripping with her late father's hubris. <gasps> no, you're going for mid? Consciousness to which Muthos is inextricably bound and inexorably drawn. See that he is made welcome. Yes, your majesty. Come, Muthos. Surely the prince's light cannot have sated you. So then... How long has Walud been under Ultima's control? How long indeed? Based on what we know of Barnabas' actions, I would guess some few years, mayhap more. But to what end? What does Ultima want? The tapestry. Show them. Gate, Drake's breath, and now here. But what is it? It is old, ancient, even. Nought's remains of the faith it represents, save what can be gleaned from the image itself. None could tell me what the one in the apodotry meant, even the undying. But I believe it may be the key to discerning Ultima's purpose. That figure in the center. The one beneath whom the icons congregate, that I believe to be Ultima. He is a god, or at least godlike. His very existence beyond our ken. The icons, and by extension their dominance, are meant to be his subjects. And while some, like Barnabas, have accepted this role, others have rejected it. Like you, Clive. Which is rather inconvenient, as it appears he needs you most of all. And gods don't like to be disobeyed. I don't suppose they do. Clive, may I tell Yote of the lake? By all means. Yote, I will be accompanying my brother to the free cities. Whilst we are afield, I would have you watch over those Clive has made his wards. Omia lost Delan to his sag Ilith. Though well concealed, the hideaway lacks trained fighters to defend its occupants should they be discovered. But it is my duty to... As it has ever been my brother's duty, remember. If... if that is your wish, your grace. But please be safe. If aught were to befall you, I... You have my word.
Farewell, my lord, my lady. We are in your debt, Yote. Let's find our friends. All right, let's do this. Saying she cares for you very deeply, and I her. In trade, carved in stone. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that now. Why I had to let her go. Cyril, how fares the search? Well. Your Grace, my report shall be with you ere long. Ah, yes. Yote is otherwise engaged at my behest. And the duty of wardenship? Fulfilled. For as you see, I've been reunited with my first shield. I am Cyril, Knight of the Undying and bearer of the Burning Quill, charged with chronicling the mortal deeds of His Grace, Joshua Rosfield. Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix, and rightful Archduke of Rosaria. I entrusted Cyril here with overseeing the investigation into Ultima's origins. Findings from his brothers and sisters afield are delivered here to be collated and catalogued. Just how many undying are there? Not nearly enough, milady. Yet we are glad to give our all in service to the Phoenix. Such is and has ever been our creed. I see. You have your associates, I have mine. <laughs> but you may now think of them as ours. That won't be a problem, will it? The Phoenix is our sun, and we but the shadows that quicken in his radiance. It is from the darkness that we serve, both him and now you. Pray accept this token. Oh, okay. You accepted the phoenix down. For as long as you bear it, members of our order will reveal themselves unto you. If there is nothing further. No. You are dismissed. Your grace. It's a canva then. We'll talk about this later. Yeah, I'm gonna do uh, the side missions uh, later. I already Cyril's done way too much very, for now. Uh, you certainly keep strange bedfellows, Joshua. <laughs> you are going the right way, right? Yep. The free cities and the sea. Time. Orcs. Then let us be rid of them. More orcs. Wars. Clive, smoke. Is the city fallen?
free men are still holding their own, then. Do we have any idea where Gav and the others might be? There's a warehouse near the docks where we agreed to meet if there was any trouble. We should hurry. Sounds like thunder. You're late. <laughs> We're starting to think you'd stumbled off a cliff. I seem to recall that was you, Gav. Good to see you. Any trouble on the road? Nothing we couldn't handle. I knew you'd come. Is that who I think it is? Yes. Uh, allow me to introduce my brother, Joshua. Clive's told me all about you. Or even listening most of the time. <laughs> Name's Middadol. But everyone calls me Mid. My lady. Ha! Ah. Ah. Hey! Ha ah. ha! <laughs> Aww. My boy, Uncle Byron. Ah, <laughs> it's really you. I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> <laughs> so these Akashic are being controlled? That's what it looked like. Empty eyes, eerie blue glow. No doubt they were turned, but silent as monks, every last one of them. Your man here speaks true, Clive. We saw more than a few in the city. They moved in ranks with a purpose, and not of their own. Ultima's doing. Perhaps. What of the city? The people? Uh, dead, mostly. Mostly, but not all. A handful managed to lock themselves in their villas before the Horde arrived. Some in the merchant's district to the west, and a few of us on the far bank. Hmm. If the Akashic stumble across either hiding place, a few bolted doors won't hold them for long. We need to find them. And quickly. What do you propose? Split up. We split into two parties. Yep. I will make for the merchant's district, while you look to those across the river. Mind keeping an eye on my brother? Not at all. We find the villa and try the servant's entrance. Understood. And what of us? Mid, is she fit to sail? The ship? Uh, the mithril engine could probably do with a few more tweaks. Then you better work fast. Even if we do reach the survivors in time, they'll never make it to the hideaway on foot. You leave that to me. See that Mid doesn't get herself into trouble, would you? Think I can manage that? I'll keep him safe. Looks like you stuck with me, Byron. <laughs> Lord Rossfield, you little gutter snipe. <laughs> Shall we then? And you keep Clive safe. Be careful. Both of you. You too. Yote's gonna be pissed. Clive, you left him? Even far.
All right, let's do some fights. All right, Toggle. Let's find those survivors. They don't stand a chance against those things. Ocean. Up in here. hides. I have so many of those.
Oh, chest. All right, thank you. I thought there's a box over there. Oh shit. direction. Okay. Come 
Oh, Jesus! survivors inside.
caused quite the commotion. Oh, you're in armor now? But then I would expect no less from you, Muthos. You again. I don't believe we've been introduced. You were in my family's crypt. And now you're here. With an army of Akashic thralls. Manners, Lord Rossfield. They are men. Like you and me. Albeit ones uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are... divine. What? And they are all that remains in this once raucous city. You'll pay for what you've done. As you wish. I confess I have been very much looking forward to this. Pardon me this indulgence, your majesty. The vessel shall not be spoiled. I am the man of House Harbor. And you will yield. Or not. As long as you don't hold back. Oh.
There we go. You will forgive me if my performance seems uninspired. It is just that I expected so much more from our chosen one. Perhaps this will kindle your flame? What now? A gift from my liege lord's armory. Gungnir. Wow. Watch closely, Mythos. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Woo! Oh, crap. To me, boy. I thought I dodged. Hey, who get him? Just too slow. Ha! Ha! Too slow. Okay. 
Almost done, almost done! Okay. Yeah, I was getting way too reckless uh, near the end. I didn't want to die. <laughs> Woo, man. Hell yeah. Penguin insignia. Huh. The vessel is strong. My leash. Clive! You're all right. As are you, I see. We are, yes. I'm sorry, but... We couldn't save them. It was over before we arrived. Well, you did what you could. I fear we were all too late. What's wrong? Nothing. I hope. Oh. <sighs> Leaving so soon, Mythos? 
It's the king. Indeed. You may kneel before Barnabas Tharm, Warden of Ash and King of Walud. Get back. Did my lord commander. Yet I see why my master covets you so. The power within you, Mythos. The potential. Stop calling me Mythos. But Mythos is everything. The cornerstone of all creation. The lord's vessel. Your purpose. Purpose? To surrender my mind and body to that thing? No, Your Majesty. My purpose is my own. I made a promise to my friends, to my people. And nothing is going to stand in my way. You would allow this delusion of free will to bar your path to greatness? Truly, your volition is a cancer. One that must be excised. Ah, oh, Torgo got the sword. What are you gonna do, Jill? Power beyond reckoning. And they use it as a crutch. Such a waste. No! Sometime later. Will he be all right? The Phoenix can mend flesh, but the spirit must recover on its own. I'm afraid the rest is up to him. This place is remarkable. Outfitting it must have been no small feat. But why go to such trouble? 
That beauty's belly's filled with wonders the world ain't ready for. If the guilds caught wind of what we're up to, they'd all want a piece. All right. And how is he? Do not blame yourself. He was barely breathing when you brought him here. We would have lost him if it were not for you. No. Barnabas may have severed nigh every sinew in my brother's body. But he made certain the wounds were not fatal. Nigh every sinew? <sighs> Allow me, your lordship. Don't know what I was thinking, putting you to the trouble like that. <sighs> Tis no trouble carrying comestibles to my ailing nephew. What happened to Jill? Know, but you've already done so much for us. Pouring your gill into the hideway and now the ship. I don't want to take the piss. You risked your life. And for what? Some gill you hardly know. Why'd you do it? You got mad or something? I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> Clive! You're awake. My boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what I want to do is help. And the world won't save itself. It was Sid. Your father. Who taught me that? Sounds like him. Don't you dare do that again. What of the Royalists? Fucked off, the lot of them. Along with the Galleon. With the King on board, no doubt. The Iron Heia wouldn't sail without him. <sighs> Clive. Jill didn't come back. What do you mean? She kept the king busy while the others dragged you out. It's all right, Mid. Jill is fine. The ether of her icon endures. Oh, okay. And as long as it does, we can be certain she is alive. We must pursue the Black Galleon. Jill will be with the King, I'm sure of it. Well, good luck catching him, because my ship's going nowhere. It's the Mithril engine. She's got a kick like a wild chocobo and a mind to tear the hull in half. But do you have an idea? Uh, well, of course I do. My dad has seen this coming a league off. If I had his old writings, if you had his old writings, you'd be sitting under a fuckload of rubble. The ones Otto didn't save anyway. I suppose he might still have a few pages in his stores. We'll have to hope it's enough. Do what you can to ready the ship. I'll speak with Otto. In your condition, you really are mad. <laughs> Perhaps. But the world really won't save itself. All right, we have to go back. The Song of Hope. All right. Gav said that Otto might know something. So I could fast travel now if I want. To speak with Otto. Paul said it was an army of a cash. How are we supposed to do our duty when the hills are crawling with a cash? The hunts. New one. Red Comet. Okay, I'll do all these soon. God. If you're here, where the hell is everyone else? Don't tell me. 
They're all right. But it's a long story. You lot don't do things by halves, do you? Well, at least everyone's still breathing. Now, as for these writings, I'm sorry to say, Clive, but if you had those, you'd be... Sitting under a pile of rubble, I know. But we were able to save a few bits and pieces from the ruins, most of which ended up being used to build this place. The more personal items we gave to the next of kin. In the case of Sid's things, that would have been mid. Then I'll check the workshop. Like father, like daughter. Oh wait, totally forgot. This looks like it's from Sid's old diary. Uh, Mitchell already have read it. I'd better keep looking. What do we have here? Oh, Sid's pipes. Something tells me Mid won't be needing these. This is your hideaway, but uh, you really shouldn't be in here. Huh. If that leather loosener was only the first of the discoveries the Olympics gonna help us make. We've had no word from Canada for days. Just you wait. It's all right. This? I remember seeing this doll in Sid Sola. I wonder if it was Mids. Bit of dole. Know you like your riddles, so I reckon you'll appreciate this one. Of all my inventions, this one's the best. So when choosing its place of rest, I recalled your opus, daughter dearest. Now it's there in the first. Going to have to work on that last rhyme. Good luck, Sid. Sid's best invention. Hmm. That sounds promising. So Sid hid something in Mid's first opus. What would that be? Perhaps Otto might know. to know what Mid's first Opus was. Opus? That girl's as tone deaf as a banshee. <laughs> Unless you mean the orchestrion. She couldn't have been more than, what, 11, 12, when she cobbled that thing together? It surprised us all. Not least her dad. You should have seen how proud he was of the little scamp. What's that battered old box have to do with anything? I think Sid may have hidden something inside it. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. Those two and their bloody treasure hunts. Half the things in the hideaway we hidden one time or another. Hey, right. how are we supposed to do our job? Oh. 
I didn't break it. Well, I didn't break it. What didn't you break? Nothing. We didn't break nothing. <laughs> we definitely didn't break the orchestra. What's wrong with it? It's broken. Except when it isn't. See? And you had nothing to do with this? Nope. Nothing. We just wanted to listen to all the songs at once. So we press all the buttons. Like this. See? <sighs> all too well. All right, out of the way. <laughs> there. How about now? You fixed it. You said fixed it. He more than fixed it. Yeah. New music. Huh. Never heard this one before. They started playing when I removed this. Whatever it is. Well, don't look at me. I can tell you it's important, though. Sid showed it to me once and said as much. Said it was the stuff dreams were made of. <sighs> Let's just hope it's the stuff ships are made of as well. Indeed. Let's see if we can make some dreams come true. Oh, good. We got 4,000 now. Just the two I was looking for. I heard. Who's a patient? Actually, yes. The Crown Prince just left. Dion left? Unless you've another word for stood up and walked off. Yes, left. He did have the decency to leave a message with Obelis before commandeering one of his dinghies. Should we go after him? No. We're not the Prince's keepers. He's free to do as he sees fit. I'd rather he did so in bed. His wounds are nowhere near healed. Much like yours, I suspect. Otto told me what happened in Canver. What is it with this realm's princes and their aversion to rest? Uh, ask me when I get back. Though I may be some time. Then at least try to stay safe. And if that fails, try to stay alive, eh? I waste here, the further the flagship sails. I have to get back. Uh, there's two, three. All right, let's talk to everyone. Oh, you got something new, right? Yep. What's that for, you, dear? Oh, you're better than the one I have. Okay. It last you a good while. Oh, better than the one I have right now. Not bad, if I do say so myself. No scratches, right? Cool, cool, cool. Reset? Okay. Yeah, that should do you.
by three. Eh, why not? You can thank me later. And? Got something new? Let me tell you a story, Clive. Okay. All right. Them rumors wet legs were spreading. Might be they weren't just tales plucked out of thin air. You see, there were a time when I weren't too particular about who I sold steel to, so long as they paid me the right price. Some women lust after blood, others after flesh, but me? I were always one for gold. And to satisfy that lust, I sold to opposing armies, stabbed my every client in the back, made myself the most hated woman in the twins. But then one day... One day I met a man who made me a different kind of offer. Said he'd give me access to a realm-wide community of like-minded individuals in constant need of steel and sundries. On the condition I sold to him and his alone. Was that the first time you met Sid? Aye. And I fell right into his damn trap. He were true to his word, so I ended up being true to mine. And I soon started making the best profits I've seen since taking up the trade. And all without aiding or abetting any outlaws. Except Sid himself, that is. He told me about his plan to topple the Mother Crystals, you know. Said that with them gone, the realm would want for all manner of things. An opportunity for the likes of me to mint Gil. Why, I reckon an enterprising individual <laughs> could find herself the richest dumb in the twins. And that's when he had me. I emptied my stores that day and moved into the Ardway proper. And the rest, as they say, is ancient bloody history. A dozen years on, and I'm still not the richest damn. <laughs> not for lack of trying, mind. But I can say that I have never been happier. You've all shown me there are some things more precious than Gil. That there are. So don't you go messing it all up. Or you'll have me to answer to. Aye, it's a dangerous world out there. Okay, what you got? Weird. I could have just bought it instead of, uh, okay. These. It'd better all be here. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Rubbing me blind, you know. Rubbing me blind. Oh. Uh, oh. Be careful out there. Thank you. What you got? Sid, do you recall the flowers I had you bring back to the yard? Vaguely. Is something wrong? I'm afraid so. I was able to get most of the Morgan beards to take root, but they rarely flower. I fear the soil here does not agree with them. However, I believe I have a solution. I can't wait to hear it. I'm going to marry the Morgan beards. With morbles. I know, I know. Uh. But hear me out. Morbles are possessed of a highly choleric temperament. The fire which drives them appears to be maintained by an abundance of nutrient rich ether drawn from their environs. I believe that by grafting a morble vine to a Morgan beard, the appendage's wealth of vigor inducing nutrients might well stimulate the flower to bloom. The endeavor, I assure you, is scientifically sound. I simply need a vine to prove the theory. All right, please, sir. Can I have some more bull? <laughs> and all you need is a single vine from an ordinary morbel. That is correct. A single vine. As for the morbel, I fear ordinary may not suffice. But as luck would have it, 
A most extraordinary specimen is rumored to haunt the swamps of Rosaria. Why, a notice concerning this very creature was only recently posted on the hunt board. How timely. Well, I shan't keep you any longer. I know you have much to do, as do I. Now, where did I put my watering can? All right, so that's a plus sign, which means I'm gonna get something good. In I hope it's more potions. It's another plus sign. Am I going the right way? Ah, shit. If it's knowledge you seek. about the morbid sightings. I hear your brother isn't a fan of carrots, Koopo. If every carrot of Rosaria is anything like the one that just got posted on the board, I can see why, Koopo. Carrot. Really? The Whispering Waters Rosaria. All right, Clive. Blackthorn told me you helped him out again. Tough for that. Speaking of which, I'm actually a bit, um... Worried about him, and you want my advice. Afraid so. It's a bit of a funny one, this, but I saved this posh knob while I was out on a mission, and he gave me this flashy ring to say thank you. So, obviously, I show it to Blackthorn, thinking he'll be impressed, only for him to go white as a sheet and quiet as a curl instead. Try as I might, I can't for the life of me work out what could have got him upset like that. And seeing as how Blackthorn opens up when you're around, I thought maybe... I'll speak to him. I'd speak to him again. Well, I suppose there's no point leaving him to stew. Cheers, Clive. I'll be sure to pay him a visit as soon as I have a moment. All right, I'll meet you by the forge then. You come along when you're ready. Ready? How are you doing? Anything catch your eye? That's one. That's two. All right. That's three. Seen enough? Six over there. How may I help you today, Clive? I got something? Oh. All yours. Cool, cool, cool. I really need that one. All done? Glory to Griga. There you are. And not a moment too soon. What's happened? Taya's busy working herself into an early grave. Since the arrival of her latest patient, she's refused to stop, even for a moment. I've tried offering to see to him in her stead, but she won't hear of it. Clive, she hasn't left the infirmary in days. She's pushing herself too hard. And if she doesn't rest soon, will you talk to her? Order her to her chambers if that's what it takes. Because if she keeps this up, I fear the hideaway will be without its best physica before too long. I know better than to order Taya to do anything. But I'll speak to her. Oh, thank you. I pray you have better luck than I did. Here's a mercy. Oh, yeah. Rodriguez worried about you. 
And if what he says is true, then so am I. We all admire your dedication, but... You do need to rest. I will, when it's time. Until then, I'm staying put. We owe him that much. Who is he? Someone from my past. Someone who doesn't deserve to die alone. It won't be much longer. The Crystal's curse has almost finished its work. If I had the tears, I could ease his passing. But without them, we've nothing that will touch the agony of those last few hours. How would tears help this man? Not my tears. Tears of mercy. Alicia, it's the only thing strong enough. You wouldn't tire. Surely. There must be something we can do for him. Sometimes an easy death is the greatest kindness we can offer. You do well to remember that, Rodrigue. I... I, I will. We have all the ingredients we need for Alicia Balwam. It needs to be fresh, though, so we rarely have much to hand. I can make the draft if you can bring me what we're missing. Just tell me what you need. There is a species of venom-weeping spider that lives in the forests of Norvent, near Lorbert's Pass. Bring me one of their eyes. Preserve it as best you can, but avoid contact with the tears. I'll make sure the other ingredients are ready before you return. Thank you, Clive. I won't forget this. All right, we go for another hunt. Cole said it was an army of Akashi. again oh, and you got better things to do with your time that remains to be seen august tells me he showed you a ring and that the sight of it clearly upset you would you mind telling us why come on mate bottling it up ain't gonna help no one if it weren't the ring and it was something i said then i'm sorry it was the ring right it brought back some unhappy memories that's all Memories better left forgotten. Memories of what? There are things we'd all rather leave behind, Blackthorn. But sometimes it helps to talk about them. And sometimes it doesn't. Is that so hard to understand? Don't be like that. Fine. If it'll get you off my back. That ring you flashed was the work of Zoltan. We apprenticed together back in the day. You've never mentioned him before. Why would I? I ain't seen him in decades, and the last time I did, we almost came to blows. The ring brought it all back. I could tell it was one of his the moment I saw it. Bastards improved, though. More than I thought possible. That thing's a work of art. So it was a nice ring. Worth a few gill, maybe. What's it matter to you? It matters, because engraving metal's a nightmare, and I've got no bloody idea how he managed it. The fact is, I couldn't make anything even half that detailed. So what? You're an armorer, not a jeweler. I'm the Idaway's master craftsman. I'm not stealing a living at some backwater village forge. My armor keeps you lot safe, and my swords keep you dangerous. As far as I'm concerned, every swing of my hammer's another blow struck in the name of our cause. So I put my heart and soul into my work. Because the curse breakers deserve better than second best. And I refuse to be shown up by the likes of Zoltan! Hell yeah! Very well. Why don't we go and pay him a visit? Learn his secret? I doubt he'd be too happy to see me. Then just this once. Make peace with being second best. Swallow your pride. And focus all your energies on the task at hand. Keeping the curse breakers armed and armored. Provided you can do that, you'll hear no complaints from me. 
But if you can't, and it's going to distract you, we need to do something about it. What'd you say, Blackthorn? You know he's right. And it's not like you'll be going alone. All right. Magic. So, where do you reckon old what's-his-name is, then? Zoltan, was it? In Dravozd, my old village. He won't have left. He's the chief. Dravozd, eh? That rings a bell. Not far from Tabor, right? Just north of the fields of Carava. Got that, Clive? Meet us at Dravozd as soon as you can, yeah? And I'll make sure Blackthorn don't get cold feet. Good luck with that. I'll see you there. All right, so we started a whole bunch of side quests. We have to do some hunts. I think that's good for now. Ah, I see. Well, can't do that yet. 